All right, so you just bought yourself a brand new EV charger. Yeah, but what do you do with this? Next on Now Let's Review. Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Now Let's Review. So what's the problem? So, okay, so let's say that you bought yourself a brand new EV charger and you weren't checking too hard on the website. And so when it arrived, you get three cables coming off the end of it and they look pretty scary and they don't plug in to the plug that you have in your garage or wherever. So what do you do in that sense? Do you have to send this back? What if they don't accept returns? Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Yeah, we'll show you what to do, but disclaimer, every jurisdiction's different. So you just read the fine print there. We're doing it the way it's done in our neck of the woods. Okay, yeah, so there's two things you could do. You could wire it directly into an outlet or a panel, or you could do what we're gonna show you how to do right now, which is to put a plug on the end of it. $20 solution. So the first thing to do is to look up the specs for your particular charger and find out how many amps it's drawing. Ours is a 50 amp EV charger, so we are going to use a 1450p NEMA plug. The 50 being 50 amps. And the P meaning plug. If it was a 50R, that would be the female or the receptacle. Now here's the thing when you get into the world of outside of your normal plug in the wall, there's a whole bunch of different plugs out there. And so it can be a little overwhelming and a little scary. Pretty much the most common ones are gonna be in the 14 series. I don't know much about NEMA, but they certainly like their 1430s and their 1450s. The other thing you have to keep in mind is, if you wire it up as a male plug, you have to make sure that you have the female to plug it into. Yes, you know, maybe what you are gonna do is you bought this, you knew that you're gonna upgrade this at some point and you wanna install a plug on your wall. So you could buy basically the plug and the mating receptacle and then therefore in the future when you upgrade to a higher power charger or whatever all you're going to have to do is wire up a different plug you're not going to have to tear stuff apart all right so let's get right into it let's unbox this and uh, let's start wiring it up all right so while he's doing that i'm going to talk about the fact that they've delivered this with an l1 an l2 and a ground and that's going to be a little bit different for those of you who learned about circuits in school, whether there's a positive and a negative. See, right now we're dealing with AC current, which means that the L1 and the L2 are two opposing phases of AC electricity. Right. And so the potential voltage between these two is going to be 220 volts. Right, because we're using two 110 circuits. And this is only for America, folks, or places that have this kind of circuitry. If you're trying to do this in Europe, it's completely different. Yes. All right, so we have our plug here. So yeah, so like, now you might be saying, wait a minute, there's no metal pieces on this plug. Uh, but don't worry, they're all in this little baggie. And in fact, um, the one that we picked up from Home Depot is a 30 or a 50. And you might be saying, how is that possible? And it's possible because you could be using this little one, which is the 30 amp, as opposed to one of these big fat ones, which is the 50 amp. And that is going to basically determine what you can plug this into and how many amps it can draw. So we don't need this 30 because we are doing the, the 1450. So get rid of that thing, we don't need it. What we're gonna do is hook up all of these. Now, one of the interesting things about what we're hooking up today is that there's no neutral. So normally, this plug would have four prongs. You would have the L1, the L2, the neutral, and the ground. What we are going to have today is something that has no neutral. So we might choose to leave the neutral in, um, but it would basically be going to nothing. All right, so let's start putting it together and let's just talk about the, the strain relief and everything. So basically, when this thing clamshells back down together, that's gonna be the strain relief. And I just wanna make sure that this is gonna provide some form of strain relief. I think that looks like a good size. Mm. So, yeah, I think we're gonna be good. All right, so you're putting the blades in. Yep. Now, I'm gonna put all four blades in, but for today, I believe we do not need this one, which would be our neutral. Which means that all we would have is our ground and line one and line two. Now there are plugs out there that do not have a neutral and lots of different equipment throughout the years has had that. So I don't know if this is technically the right thing to do. But now we're gonna be hooking into 1450. So we're gonna use a 1450 plug. So I guess screwdriver. And so we can actually take those little um, metal plates off that would hold the wire because this particular setup has the, the lugs on it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take any which one of these. Oh, 
That's nice. Looks like a nice connection there. Make sure you crank it because you don't want any arcing. I mean, you did, you did crank it. I'm gonna crank it. <clears throat> yeah. And then we're taking the ground blade and putting it on the ground. And look, that one has a Phillips. So now we have all three lugs with their blades on them. Now we can start to kind of insert them into our plug. And it's good to dry fit what you're doing because in this case, as you're seeing, Jesse's turning these 90 degrees so that they'll fit into the plug. And a lot of times when you're doing this outside of the plug, you can't really picture what you have to do. So he's turned them 90 degrees. Now he's retightening. All right, so now that they're turned 90. So there's something I wanna show you guys. We're doing this kind of temporarily because we're gonna be giving this away. Uh, so at the end of this video, you'll find out how you might be able to win this EV charger. But if we weren't doing that, if this were going to be permanent, I would probably put some electrical tape around at least this uh, ground lug because look how close some of these are together mm -hmm. inside there. Yeah, and the other thing I want to point out is that also normally if this were going to be um, permanent, we would have cut these wires and we would have brought this to be strain relieved. Right now, these are going to be kind of what's getting strain relief, which isn't what you want. Um, but <laughs> We're just showing you because we're, we don't want to take this whole thing apart. Okay, so now I'm going to close her up. There's that green strain relief guy. All right, so now we have our EV charger hooked up to an EV plug. Again, you could have just bought an EV charger this way. Um, this one unfortunately didn't come with a plug so we're gonna have to wire it in. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's go outside and check it out. Let's check it out. Was it wired up properly for our outlet out here? Um, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna plug it in. And luckily, yes, the ground is on top. That's gonna save me some time and, and energy. Let's see here. Plugging it in. And it exploded. And look. Oh, blue light. Welcome to use AC charging equipment, swipe card slash app to start charging. All right, so there you have it. it worked. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, if you are going to do this yourself, just make sure that you do it properly. We did it. Uh, we did it half-assed because we we're, we're in a rush to get this out to you. Oh, so by the way, I told you at the end of the video, we'd tell you uh, how you could win this. Join our Patreon over at patreon.com slash now you know. There you can support us for as little as a buck a month. And we do all sorts of cool giveaways there. We're going to put this up. And uh, if it's something that'll work for you, tell us why in the comments. And then we're going to pick it out of a hat, give it away like we've done many times before with yep. many other EV chargers. Uh, when we give it to you, by the way, we're going to remove the plug. We're going to give it to you factory standard. So that way it is not a danger or anything to you. And you can install it however you want, whether you want an electrician to do it or if you want to uh, try it yourself again, depending on where you live and if you're allowed to do that. So let us know down in the comments other things that you would like us to review. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. That really helps us out. And I really appreciate it, guys, for you hitting that. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time on Now Let's Review.